Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Monday where every Monday I post a new video. In today's video, um, we're going to be uh, making another hourglass and this time we're going to be using um, plastic bottles. I had a subscriber ask me if I can do another hourglass but she wanted to see me do it with plastic bottles instead of glass. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So basically what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need plastic bottles. I am using 20 ounce bottles, but you do not have to use 20 ounce. You can use 12 or it are, you can use 12 ounces and you can use any type of plastic bottle you want to. I don't recommend you using the soft plastic water bottles. That's not going to be sturdy enough. You need some type of hard plastic. So um, you're going to need the plastic bottles. You're going to need some wooden dowels. Mine are 8 inches long. And you're going to need scrap pieces of wood. And these are 3 inches long. So I have two of those. And for the plastic bottles, um, that's what you're going to be need, plastic bottles. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. So first thing I did with my plastic bottles was I took my Sharpie and I made a line um, at where I wanted to cut it. So once I made my line, I went ahead and I um, I cut that out. And I used my saw, but you can use an X-Acto blade. But I did it with the saw because it's safer to do it with the saw. So once I, I did that twice, I cut, I took my plastic bottle and I cut this out on two bottles. So, yeah, so I took two bottles, put a line here, cut that on both bottles, and then I drilled a hole in the bottom and the lid, and I used a 9, four, a nine 6 inch drill bit to do that, and this is the hole that I ended up with, and I did that both, and once I had those both cut out, and uh, with my hole glued into the cap, I went ahead and I glued them together. So this is what we have here. And there is my hole in the center right there. So now that you have those cut out and glued together, we're going to go ahead and glue it to the base here. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to grab me a couple glue sticks. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually I'm just going to put some hot glue down on the, the base here. And I'm putting a good amount. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick this down off in there. And we're just going to hold that here and we're just going to let this dry. And just to secure the sand to make sure the sand does not come out. Not that I'm worried about it because it's not going anywhere. But I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue around the outside. And we're going to let that dry. Now while that's drying, I'm going to, it's kind of tall so I'm going to have to keep moving my camera around. Sorry about that. So, um, Now that we have that, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and dump our sand. And as you can see, my sand is starting to fall through. So I'm just going to go ahead and add more. And you can add as much or as little as you want. So I'm just going to put all of mine because I want all of that in there. And as you can see, my it's still falling through. We still have it going through. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our other wood base and we're just going to put that right on top. So I'm just going to go ahead again. I'm just going to put some hot glue around the edge. And we're just going to go ahead and stick this right on top of it just like this. So this is what we have. 
So now what we're going to do, and it's my sand is still falling. I know you, you as y'all can see, it's still falling. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our wooden dowels. And we're just going to go ahead and put some hot glue on the top and on the bottom. And we're just going to go ahead and stick this into place. So where we have that, and we're just going to continue to do so. So we're just going to put a little more hot glue here and here. And we're just going to go ahead and stick those on. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And it's still running. My sand is still going through. I'm just going to peel this. And now all I'm doing is just trying to get some of these groove strands off. I did have someone in my crafting group tell me that you can get the glue strands off with like a toothbrush. So I may have to give that a try. So now I'm just going to go ahead and stick the last one into place. And here we have it. Here is our sand, or I mean sand, our hourglass. It does not take very long to make, and um, it's still, it's still pouring. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera back up. We go okay so yeah that was it for this little craft here you have it still going strong still pouring and we did this with plastic bottles so uh yeah if you like this video please give me a like and a thumbs up if you have not already subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button i would love for you to become a member of my youtube family that's what y'all are. Y'all are my family now. So yeah, and um, hit your set your post notification so whenever I post a video, you'll already always be notified that I post it. So um, yeah. With that being said, I hope you all have a very nice day, and thank you so so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And um, yeah, bye.